All right, hey guys, welcome to another video. So I get this question a lot from viewers and I do wanna share with you guys um, kind of my secret to um, my POV setup. So um, I'm a GoPro guy. I use GoPros primarily pretty much for all videos um, that involve POV. Um, it's an easy camera just to strap up and there are smaller, uh, smaller options out there that are, will probably make it a little bit easier. Um, but I'm all too familiar with the settings and everything with GoPro and I'm quite frankly I'm a big fan of GoPros so um, that's why I kind of just always lean towards GoPros when it comes to anything really action related. Um, obviously for vlogging I use my Sony a7C but for everything POV and you know action related it's always going to be the GoPro and currently right now I'm rocking the Hero 9 Black. Hero 9 Black is really nice because it's essentially uh, just as good as my last camera being the Hero 7 Black. Um, you just get uh, more improved uh, image quality and of course uh, better stability. So um, being the Hero 9, it's on the third iteration of the, I believe they call it Hyper Smooth and uh, it allows you to boost it. So um, yes, it does crop your image a lot. It turns out it's very, very smooth. And um, for POV driving, I don't actually really need to boost this setting. I find that the traditional stability is just fine enough. Um, but uh, yeah, so again, I'll walk through kind of the settings that I use and pretty much how I strap it to my head and kind of give you that, that perfect look almost. So um, yeah, we'll get right to it. All right, so for the settings, the settings that I use on the GoPros, traditionally for me, if it's POV related, um, you know, I like to make people feel like they're actually driving the car. Uh, I'm not really going for a cinematic look. I'm really just going for a real-time drive look. Um, so I shoot in 60 frames all the time, every single time for POV drives. There's really no excuse why I shouldn't. Um, there's, there's no reason for me to not. It's, it's not supposed to be beautiful looking. It's just supposed to simply be a drive, you know? And uh, again, I want you guys to feel like you're actually in the seat. That's the point of my videos in the first place. So shooting 60 frames is really kind of a baseline for that. Um, and, uh, you know, for my vlogs, I usually shoot 30 frames, but um, most cases I will always shoot 60 frames uh, when it comes to action stuff. So um, that's something to definitely keep in mind. Um, and as far as image quality, usually I bounce between 4K and 1080p. Um, but in most cases, especially nowadays with this Hero 9 Black, I'm going to be shooting in 4K. So 4K, 60 frames. And um, as far as stability goes, I don't do the, I don't boost it because I don't want to crop it. Um, so I, uh, I just use tr the, I keep stability on. I don't turn off the Im internal uh, stability in the camera. Um, I just don't find that boosting it is necessary, especially when I'm sat inside of a car and I'm not really moving around. So um, keep stability on, just don't boost it. And of course, for the, uh, the lens width, I just put it on wide, um, just one step below super view, um, because I believe there are five different settings on the Hero 9 Black. And uh, yeah, so I just find that wide is perfect enough to capture what I need to capture, because super view um, is a little too much and I don't need to capture that. So um, again, I wanna make it feel like you guys are in the car. So super view, I feel like you, know, you guys would be looking everywhere. So um, again, the focus is sort of in front of you. So that's why I really don't shoot uh, super view. All right, now on to the bread and butter, the mean potatoes. Uh, this is pretty much the setup I use. Again, head strap and uh, I don't, go from head strap to GoPro, I actually have two different connections um, just to extend it a little bit because if I only used, if I went from GoPro to head strap and I just attached the GoPro here, I wouldn't be able to angle it like that because there's a, you know, there's just, it doesn't allow you to do that. Unfortunately, I, I wish it was a little bit easier, but um, this, I know it looks pretty crazy, but it's really not that crazy. There's only two extra attachments and they're both identical so um, again that the point of these two these two screws or at least this these two um, is to extend it so I can angle it down and kind of give it that really nice angled look and I'll tell you why I angle it in the first place so um, when I'm shooting I don't like to have the GoPro right in my face or in my eyes I like to have it kind of pretty much right above where I can see the GoPro but it's not you know obstructing any vision you don't want your GoPro to do that in the first place um, so basically what I do is I um, again I just put it right here and then I angle it down. So because these are notorious wide angles anyway, wide angle lenses, um, I know it's gonna capture pretty much everything in front of me. So um, I don't need to worry about it being perfectly in my line of sight because yes, it is point of view, but with the angle, you're pretty much capturing point of view anyway. So what I'll do now is I'll put the GoPro on my face and I'll give you guys, or <laughs> on my head, and I'll give you guys a, a nice little sample of uh, kind of what, what to expect when you do it this way. Another thing that's also really nice to do is to uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi hotspot your phone to your GoPro so you kind of have a monitor just to double check you are capturing basically what you want to capture. So 
Um, just gonna adjust it a little bit to make sure it's perfect. Another thing to note too is you'll see this is kind of like off center. Um, that's simply because the lens is a little bit off center. So um, as you guys can see, the lens is more to, I guess, to the left of the GoPro or at least to the right here. Um, so that's why I kind of have a little bit to the side. And uh, again, if it's angled out of any way, I can always fix that in post. So um, we'll give you guys a little sample drive footage. I'm gonna put the camera down. We're just gonna go straight to the GoPro and uh, we'll see how this is. Cars all nice and warm. As you guys can see, we, we came to the perfect spot. There's no, no better place than a snowy parking lot. Got some snow coming in. <laughs> So yeah, pretty much just like that. Those are the settings I use. So yeah, hopefully this uh, this answered a couple questions. Again, the lighting's a little poor, but that's kind of the beauty of winter time. It, uh, it's gonna never usually be great. It's just super bright, but um, yeah, hopefully this kind of gives you guys a couple ideas. I will post um, all of the things that are mentioned in this video as far as products go in the description below so you guys can check those out. And I wanna thank everyone for supporting the channel. Again, you guys are the greatest and uh, we're almost at 5K subscribers. So if you're not subscribed now, please do. It helps me out a ton and uh, look forward to making more of these in the future. So stay tuned for more and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.